Hi, this is Dr. Matwani, and I'm here with Randy. Uh, and Randy is one of the more, I think, one of the most interesting stories in our practice. Randy is here from Colorado, um, and she has a history of a 24 slice or slit RK that was done many years ago. Uh, she had two PRKs done by some pretty well known doctors, one in LA and one in uh, Florida to try to get vision out of that eye because of its irregularity from the radiokeratotomy. Uh, she came to us originally about 10 months ago in February and she had a very irregular cornea and severe epithelial breakdown, severe dry eye. Uh, so we couldn't even get a scan on her. And uh, she's been a, a real trooper. She's been flying back and forth and uh, uh, for every couple of months uh, since then uh, trying to get a, a scan that would work. Um, and we've been treating her for dry eye and we tried different treatments and, uh, and finally, finally, finally last week we have finally got a scan that we could process and treat the irregularity. And so we did PRK on her last week, topographic guided laser reconstruction um, of her right cornea and uh, We've been letting her heal, and today was the first day her abrasion had healed, and we took out the contact lens. Well, to my utter shock, she's 2040 today. I mean, her epithelium's not like, even smooth. She's 2040 today. She's seeing out of that eye for the first time since, what'd you say? 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> 30 years ago, right? Yeah. And so, yeah. tell us a little bit. I mean, y you went, I think, how many years ago to these other doctors and all this? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I was an RK patient from the 80s, back when they were doing yeah. RK. And it, it ended up about 2050, wasn't great, but, but, but could be corrected with contacts and glasses. And then, um, probably some, maybe eight, nine years ago, I had to have... Uh, cataract surgery and after that I could no longer see out of my right eye at all. Um, it was just vision totally gone and uh, so I started seeing, I mean I, I must have seen probably 20 different doctors probably. Oh wow, okay. I mean it, it, within Colorado and then on the East Coast, the West Coast and uh, they tried two of them, most of them wouldn't even touch me. They, they said no, nothing we can do. and. Uh, then the two guys that did do PRK, uh, nothing, still no vision. Um, and my eye just seemed to be getting worse, I think because of all the inflammation from all the surgeries I had. And then when I discovered Dr. Montwani and came to him with, because he's one of the few, you know, in the world actually doing this new uh, topographic procedure. And so, you know, and his staff who worked with me, because nobody has ever been able to get this right eye to scan on to work yeah. their scanning machines ever um, which made me wonder how the other two doctors even did well when they do surgery. procedures like that they're just doing the correction they're not trying to reconstruct in other words they're saying okay I got a minus so-and-so and this much astigmatism and then they just put it in the machine and treat that what we're trying to do is okay. find the, 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 the flaws, the irregularity, right. and reconstruct. And a big part of the problem was they had done the procedures, but they, what it had done was it had left you with severe epithelial breakdown, skin breakdown, like mm -hmm. chapped skin uh -huh. and from dry eye. Uh -huh. I mean, and of course, you live in a very dry right. climate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, that makes, because it scatters light, it makes getting a scan really yeah, hard. Mm -hmm. So not only is the irregularity of the cornea making it hard to get a scan, but the fact that the surface is not smooth and looks like a little bunch of tiny little craters everywhere, uh, it just makes everything really hard. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so um, so nobody could get a scan to work, but, but Dr. Matwani's staff um, was amazing. Got to give kudos to Guillermo for sticking with this with me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he, yeah, in fact, he even came in early several days so we could start early knowing that it would take forever yeah. and then um yes we must have done i don't know how many scans are over the past uh, 10 months probably three or pro 400 probably something a few hundred at this but point we finally we got one we um, got one 
Yeah. And it was almost anticlimactic. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I just looked at you and go, we got one. <laughs> yeah. And you're looking at me. I think you expected me to jump up and down. Yeah. But yeah. it was so anticlimactic. I was like, it was relief. Yeah. It, finally. it was finally relief. It was yeah. just like, uh, yeah. I mean, she was looking at me like, shouldn't you be celebrating yeah. more? Yeah, uh, I know. But we finally got we one. We're more, yeah. We yeah. Were and so we finally got one. Yeah. And, and it was a good scan. And it was actually in conjunction or it was similar to other scans that weren't getting enough information to process. But in other words, it wasn't a bad scan. It was a good scan that looked like many of the others that just were missing a little bit of information mm -hmm. to process. So it, we knew it, was, it had good integrity. In other words, it was a good scan. Mm -hmm. And so, and, and we did this on, uh, on, on uh, last Thursday, Thursday, right? Yeah, we, we did the procedure last Thursday. Yeah. And uh, you stuck around here. You've you made this your second home. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean... And so, and so she came in today, uh, take out the contact, the abrasions healed, and I honestly thought my technician had made a mistake because you got 2040, yeah. and this is like, I mean, we have a chance at this to get 2020 out of this eye. It's 2040 like this already. So I was in shock. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't believe her. You, I you. listen. I, I like jaw drops. I like jaw drop <laughs> shocks. We got quite a few more around here, but they never get old. Yeah. But you, you shocked me today. You really did. I was actually shocked. flabbergasted, yeah, and uh, you're able to see out of the thing. I can finally see it. Out of the and thing. so, and it's only going to get better. But you, you've really wow. I didn't know about the 20 other doctors you'd oh, been yeah, to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, but they wouldn't even touch me. They just said, mm -mm, "There's no help for you." Uh, yeah. You can do. Well, the, you know, it turns out we can really do this laser reconstructive repair for RKs and keratoconus and for uh, past surgeries mm -hmm. and disease trauma. Uh, you have actually been one of the most complicated cases we ever had, and I'm, I'm actually pretty yeah. happy we got this there. We really do. Now we just go through the normal healing process, and maybe we'll, uh, in a couple months we'll do a little follow-up video or something yeah. like that, but yeah. uh, I just wanted to celebrate this well, yeah, moment. Right, and let other people out there know that they're not hopeless cases, because I know there are a lot of people who've had RK in the past, and and their vision has gone downhill for whatever reason, cataracts or just, you know, aging, whatever, and when they are being told no by other physicians that, that you can help them. And yeah, it's, 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 it's interesting because I wrote the protocol on how to do this a couple of years ago. It's amazing how few doctors even know that this is possible. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it really is. Found, I just stumbled upon it by doing a lot of research on, in Google, actually, is, you know, <laughs> oh, fabulous. Yeah. Randy, I am People so happy. This has just been a, a wonderful start to the Hit day. Thanks. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>